Hey guys, welcome to Kitty Gunslinger. And uh, today, for our very first episode, we're going to do a practical with the Gamma CFX. And um, instead of using optics, I'm going to show you guys today that sometimes all you need is a good old traditional iron sight. It just comes down to good, good technique and uh, obviously knowing your rifle well. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so what we'll be using today is obviously the good old Gamo Pro Hunters. A lot of you guys will probably be familiar with this at a good old 7.56 grains. Then Artemis, a brand made by Snow Peak in China. Funny enough, my rifle do like these, but they came with this really weird grease-like substance which i don't like too much and then i shot the original can um because um jsb um guys your cans like or your tins they can't turn shut so if you pick up the pellets it just falls up so you have to be very mindful and yeah that's why i shot it i put it in a different um container but as you can see here got a couple of those and those are at 10.34 grains because so these are relatively heavy and we'll be shooting in the standard 177 or 4.5 millimeter caliber so we've got a handful of targets here those we'll have a look at later and then for the range we've got a couple of couple of targets down there this is at 55 meters with a full distance and uh, let's just get in there a little bit so our first target will be right down there at the bottom of the screen trying to get my hand in there a little potato that's gone bad you'll see exactly why there at 25 meters we've got a can and at 50 meters come on focus down at 50 meters we've got another can and then down there that little bit there to the wall is about 55 meters i'll show that to you guys on google earth okay so let's add a point here first let's just zoom in so i'll be shooting from there and all the way down all the way all the way down to the trees, you've got 50 meters. And all the way down to the wall, roughly almost 55 meters on top of the wall. That is the shooting range. So for our first shot, we'll be looking at the um, air gun slinger shooting range. We will be using the good old Gamma Pro Hunters, just trying to get it to focus, doesn't want to focus, got the rifle in the other hand, but anyway, so down there, let's zoom in, you see that cactus there, to the right is a can, that's 25 meters away, rifle is loaded, and let's see if we can make the shot using iron sights I'm not entirely sure that actually hit let's go and have a look the wind's just really bad but as you guys can see hit it there in the top and ricochet off the rock and then down there, another 20 meters, is our second can, which is going to be the next target. And then after that, we'll engage the bad potato, roughly five meters away. There we go, we've got the bad potato. Uh, boy, you, you my dear friend, you're in for something. Okay, so there in the middle, 
of the screen. 25 meters away, you guys will see the can. I'll be using a Artemis round. I'm not even sure what these weigh. Probably run about the same as the uh, Gamma Pro Hunters. So the rifle's loaded. And let's zoom in. There we go. We can see Mr. Potato Head, the wind's really messing around. You can see Mr. Potato Head, the old bad potato there, down at the um, foot of the can. So let's see if we can make that shot. This is particularly a very tricky one. That must have been very close. Oh, it went through. Because I heard the gong hit and the potato definitely dropped. Let's go and have a look. wasn't it was it was a little bit off to the right almost hit him in the eye what I'm going to do is I'm gonna put mr. potato head on top of the can so I can get a good sight picture of him as you guys can see I've already been using my plate and uh, let's see if we can headshot this formidable fiend see that let's go and expect inspect the okay so let's see what the damage is oh nice right through the forehead look at that let's just get this camera to focus properly sorry sorry for that shaky just look at that Lovely wound channels, all mushy. That's just brilliant. Next, we'll be having a shot at this target from the can's perspective, all the way up there. Forget about it. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not placing my camera here. Right, let's see. Right, so the next shot's ready. Let's zoom in on that can. Nice. Now let's drop it. Right. Lovely. That seemed to be dead sensor. Nice. We'll check that shot again in the slow-mo. pair of starlings flying by oh, they're avoiding the tree that's a pity and then next we have here oh dear I dropped it ah, fortunately it's still fine I have here one of the Artemis pellets which funny enough my air rifle really really seems to like so let's load up this round and Zoom into that can and see what happens. Let's just get in there nice and close. Six time zoom. Looks like we'll have to adjust the uh, tripod the camera's on. There we go, a little bit shaky. Five point eight times, six times. So as you guys can see, there it is, right there. So let's see if I can hit that. This one's going to be a challenging shot, though I, ha though I have made shots at this range before with this rifle. Looks like that went over. Let's try another one. 
Here we go, quickly loaded. Follow up shots are very difficult with a springer, so yeah. Lovely. That shot looked like it was dead, dead center. We'll review that in the slow mo. Okay, so I'm having a walk down range. A little bit bumpy, a little bit windy. There we go. That was indeed center, a little bit low, and it exited at the side. So this rifle is shooting at around 14 foot pounds. So my friends in the UK will miss out a little bit on that. But as you can see, there's the house, and I'm shooting from that wall there. There, as you can see, it is quite the distance. Well, guys, do not buy Chinese phones. So, we did the shot. Wind's very strong. We made the shot on the potato, so I'm just going to redo the shot, prop it up again. You can see it's lying there. You can see the bolt there, and there's Mr. Potato Head. So uh, let's give it another try. Before we set up the shot again, this is the damage. There we go. Blew a whole chunk off. All nice and squishy and mushy now. Ah, look at that. Anyway, let's do that again. Okay, so there we go. Let's zoom in. Six times zoom. I'm going to shoot from right next to the camera. Right. Just get nice and stable. There we go. We'll take that in the slow motion. As you guys can see, I've been outside for a while. The sun is setting, it is now currently behind the roof. And um, as you guys can see, where's Mr. Potato Head? After giving him that shot. Next up is the charger though, which you can see he is completely coming apart. So it's, it's pretty effective. It's pretty effective. It's, it's very difficult getting a dead center shot every time. But um, as long as you're aiming as an example for vital um, organs, you know, for the chest area, you will definitely make your kill. And at some distances, like 40 meters, 50 meters, it's with iron sights, it's almost like a headshot at that point. What I'm trying to say is it's either a kill or it's a complete miss. So... Yeah, let's get on with the show. Let's see what we can do to that charger with some of these JSB heavies. My rifle doesn't like them as much. They're not that accurate out of my barrel, but um, it's a very big target and these hit hard. So let's see what they Okay, so it's still up close and personal. Let's zoom in. Readjust the tripod a little bit. There we go. Six times zoom. Let's maybe just get a little bit higher. There we go. I doubt any pieces are going to fly. It's a big, tough piece of plastic. And this is just a 14 foot pound rifle. I'm not exactly sure how fast the Diablo heavies are leaving the barrel. So I'm not completely sure how hard it's hitting, but it definitely hits a bit harder than the other pellets. But um, let's give it a shot. Shooting from right next to the camera again. Nice. Nice. Let's see what the damage is.
Let's have a walk over to the target. As you guys saw, it actually made a, like a backflip over the steel plate. We've got the steel plate here peppered with rounds. And that's interesting. It seems I actually hit high. You can see the point is bent. Let's give it another shot. That's very weird because I was aiming around about here. That bad boy set up again, going with a JSB heavy. Like I mentioned, my barrel does not like these. I think they might be a little bit too heavy. Um, so I actually do battle using these. But uh, let's zoom in. There we go. Now let's just make it four times zoom. That's almost five times zoom. And as you can see, here I am, resting it down there, out of frame. That sounded a lot better. Let's go have a look. So here we are. I don't see a pass through. That's so weird. I don't see anything. That is so weird. I don't see anything. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change pallets. Put that back up there again. I'm going to change um, pallets back to the traditional shape. And then see what happens. Because that's so bizarre. I hit it, but there's... Nothing on it. That is so weird. So I actually put it down on the ground. And um, let's see if we can get something to do it proper damage. Because there's not real damage on it. A little bit of wind. Nothing major. That hits still. Which is quite weird because I was aiming dead center using a Diablo. Let's do a follow up shot with a Gamma Pro Hunter. There we go. Oh, it's just, it looks like my rifle just does not want to shoot the JSBs. Well, let's go and have a look at it. Okay, so, so far, no pass-throughs. There we go. That's why we can barely get any damage done to it. It just dented it. And I don't have any rounds that are designed to penetrate. This is really, really, really tough. This is really well built. So we are down all the way to Roughly 15 meters. You can see it's nice and close. We're gonna zoom in. Just adjust the camera a little bit. There we go. So we can get a full proper zoom on that. Okay, so we've got a bottle cap. On the left, a Mr. Potato Head. On the right. Let's zoom out a little bit more. There we go, we're focused. I think, first I'll attempt the um, bottle cap. Which you can barely see on camera, for goodness sake. A little bit of a party trick of mine. Let's see if I can still pull it off. It's been a while. Right, and I can barely see it. I can see a little bit of a glint in the sun. Well, doesn't look like I hit it. Must have been very, very close to the right. You can see Mr. Potato Head fell over. 
let's try again. Nice. There we go. There we go. Got that bugger down. Nice. Guys, I found it. Here it is. There it is. There it is. It took two tries, but there it is. The bottle cap is no more. And that's how far it actually made a jump. That's like three meters. But you look at that. There we go. I haven't made a shot like this. No. Miners are going crazy around me. There's a couple in that tree. Let me see if I can hit one. Down there, center bottom of the screen, there's actually one flying right above me now. Before I take that shot. Okay, now, let's take that shot. That's a kill. Good shot. That's a kill. That's a kill. Still hanging up in the tree though. That's a kill. Let's go and have a look. Okay, so so far, the starlings are actually taunting me. Let's see if we can retrieve the bird that I hit earlier. There's a bird sitting in the tree. We've got our starling. I'm actually not sure which species this is. I don't know what that is. Shot's dead center. Definitely a starling though. I just don't know what kind. Okay, so my conclusion is that iron sights are definitely effective limited but effective you have to be realistic with your expectations when it comes to iron sights and i'm going to be doing a lot of pest control and you know target practice we're going to experiment with different rounds different shapes different weight and see how they act how accurate they are um every rifle is different every barrel is different um as you guys saw the um JSBs, they don't go that well with my rifle. I get a lot of flies. These are very high quality pallets, but I think they are too heavy for the Gamma CFX. This is maybe more something tailored towards 1.77 um, PCP air rifles, around about 10 grains or just slightly more powerful springers, which you do get. Um, as you guys saw, I was able to confirm that kill at 55 meters, though that identified one con when it comes to iron sights. Your sight picture. It is what it is. When you're looking, when you are, let me just be careful. When you are looking through the sights, let's directly aim at the camera. When you're looking through the sights, you can't enlarge the, um, the target and there's a lot of things obscured by the sights themselves as well as the rifle you get better sight picture 
with a scope but I was able to make the kill regardless I think I definitely misidentified the species looking at its silhouette I saw it's a starling but it wasn't the um, species that I was looking for um, so a scope's going to be more reliable when it comes to that but it, the, the job can be done you can definitely do pest control with iron sights um, your expectations have to be realistic unfortunately and um, yeah we'll definitely be doing some trick shots with iron sights we'll be testing different ammunition weight um, shapes etc and um, I think I'm going to do some pest control videos too. But anyways guys, my name's Henry. And this is A Gunslinger. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye for now.